Hallelujah, glory be to God in the eyes. Again, we want to thank God for the privilege of life and want to thank God for all that he's doing. And thank you also for being there. This recording is for Monday the 5th and through to Thursday the 8th. And that tells you that it's uh, this evening from 5th to 7th, every day from 6 to 7th. Uh, service start by 5.30. We'll be having the special divine encounter with Daddy G.O. Every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. From 5.30, praise worship will start. And it will end by 7. We encourage you to join us. The Redeemed Christian of God Parishes will be coming close to your neighborhood to, uh, for, to view this program and uh, it will be a blessing if you partake of it you will not regret it so from monday 5th to wednesday 7th for that that is starting today the lord bless you we want to do this series from today till thursday and the topic is the implication of honor the implication of honor let us pray father in jesus name we thank you thank you because you are the almighty and you are the one that you say that we should honor lord please the implications we discussed about implication of honor please help us so that we will not be guilty so that we will not be in that but that will be blessed in jesus name amen so friends implication of honor and our test is taken from genesis chapter 9 24 through to 27 and i'm going to read from the god's words version the scripture says when noah sobered up he found out that his youngest son had well, found out what his youngest son had done to him so he said canaan is cursed he will be lowest slave of it to his brothers Praise the Lord, the God of Shem. Kenna will be his slave. 27, the last verse. May God expand the territory of Japheth. May he live in the tent of Shem. Kenna will be his slave. Hmm. May the Lord help us. Friends, those are his three children. But the funny thing about it is that he didn't talk about this youngest son. He was talking about the son of the youngest son. So he's not cursing the guy. The guy is already cursed by God. He's not cursing his generation. Because the Bible says in Ten Commandments, it says we should honor our father and our mother so that we can live long and enjoy the blessing of God. So what? Because he looked at his father's nakedness and mock him and laugh at him he was already caught because he dishonored his father but the father when he was going to open his mouth to speak he cursed his tomorrow hi my prayer for you if you are watching me if you are listening to me and your tomorrow is already in that it's already caused there's an embargo already may god's mercy prevail for you that man was not there when his father messed up but it was cursed. Canaan was cursed. And that's why the Lord will help us. So we want to, that's our test for this series. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 30 to 33, a situation like that also happened. The difference is that it's a flip. The first one, the father, the, the what we just read, the father was the reason for the son's cause. But this time around, the sons were the reason for the father's problem. In 1 Samuel 2, 30 to 33, God said, Oh, Eli, I reject your family. I will not use your family again to do what I want to do. And he said, Your family will not live long to see old age. Say, Your family will beg for Wow. Just sell those things. Why? He said, Because those that honor me, I will honor. And those that dishonor me, I will dishonor. Sir, please don't dishonor God. Don't dishonor your parents. Don't dishonor men of God. 
don't dishonor the things of God. It brings cost, not only to you that is doing it, but to your generation. Why put people in problem? Bible says Galatians 6, 7, what a man sow, he will reap. So watch what you sow. God bless you.